So welcome to our second inner gardening workshop. Um, and today the task in hand is to plant seeds of courage. And we started last week by infusing our inner ground, my inner soil, with inner peace and quiet. And we worked uh, with a verse by Rudolf Steiner as a tool and I will make reference to this verse again later on and I will also include it at the end. So part of this gardening work is about exploring how I can bring a, a verse to life inwardly through my own effort so that it can really provide me with support, with nourishment, with sustenance. And last week I set myself the intention to say this verse to myself in the morning and in the evening at eight o'clock. Um, and this time, this week, I'd like to try and link, link it more to my waking up and going to sleep time, just to see how that can support my commitment. And I would just like to encourage you just to try and see whatever works for you whatever time fits with your life and your commitments. And also don't worry if some of the time you forget. And I found that this uh, little bit of string on my watch was really helpful. Um, but just remember that every day you can start again. And there's a quote by the Buddha that I really like very much. And it goes, um, each day I'm born again to start my life anew. What I do today is what matters most. And I find that's a really, really helpful guide, especially in these current circumstances, just to think all I need to do is today. And even all I need to do is now. And with that I can stay really present with the task that is in front of me and I can ground myself in my environment and in the sense world around me. And it helps me to see possibility rather than limitations. Because for many people today looking forward to the future is a great cause of worry and fear and anxiety. And today in our workshop, I would like to offer a way of working with fears and by planting seeds of courage. And I think it really helps to understand that fear is a normal part of our nature, just as love is a normal part of who we are. And therefore, I can't really avoid fear, but I can learn how to meet it in myself, um, acknowledge my fears and perhaps get to know them a bit better. And I like to see the fears that I have as a kind of messenger. They often tell me that I need to grow deeper roots to access a deeper reservoir in myself. And these deeper roots, they are often to do with deeper values or sometimes wider perspectives. So perhaps my fear of an uncertain future can really show me the value of the present moment and really focus me to be more in the here and now and appreciate it. Mm. And perhaps my fear of disconnection can show me that on the level of heart connection, I'm not really limited to the four walls of my, of my house or the garden fence, but that this heart connection reaches beyond all boundaries and in a very real and tangible way. And then maybe my fear of illness or death can really enhance my appreciation for my life in a new way and maybe help me in a practical way just to take much better care of myself and of my surroundings. So
So my fear can become a signpost to help me identify new resolves and new values and also to grow the courage to start living by these resolves and values. And when I reach this point in myself, it's almost like now the fear has fulfilled its task. And in a way now I can put it on the compost heap to be transformed. So and just like with the compost heap, something unwanted becomes something that is really good and rich. Um, so actually to grow courage in my inner garden, I need my fears. Um, courage is really the transformed substance of fear. So we can't grow any courage without fear. And I know for myself when I'm afraid, my heart really pounds and I have this feeling I just want to get away from my experience. But my pounding heart is telling me to stay centered, is reminding me where I need to stay centered and not to leave my place of strength and stability. So staying home in the context of my inner gardening means staying in my heart center, which is my place of my deeper resources of inner quiet, of inner peace and of courage. So today we're going to plant some seeds of courage and I've brought a packet of seed with me um, and it has got some instructions inside which I will take out. So the first one, it says breath. So my first seed of courage needs a particular type of care. It says your breath can be your comforter. When you feel anxiety or fear, take a deep breath. On your out breath, imagine that you are growing deeper roots and anchoring yourself in your inner soil, in your center. Okay, so this is the first instruction for my inner seeds of courage. The second one, it says words of courage. So words of courage, the instructions are staying with our verse of inner peace and saying it to myself once or twice a day. Imagine breathing slowly and deeply into the words and let them travel on the oxygen through your whole body, reaching every cell and aerating the soil, giving it life. So there is one last one that says, sing. So the instructions here are, find your favorite song and be inspired by the birds who don't hold back. Singing brings your breath into a healthy flow and quickens your garden. So I will post these instructions for growing the seeds of courage together with the verse under this video. So I wish you a really good week in your garden and I look forward to being here with you again next time. Quiet I bear within me. I bear within myself forces to make me strong. Now will I be imbued with their glowing warmth. Now will I fill myself with my own will's resolve. And I will feel the quiet pouring through all my being. 
when by my steadfast striving I become strong to find the strength, the strength of inner peace. Only love and begins to 